Hey all, and welcome to week seven of Hardly a Week. It is, if I have a quick look, Monday, February 19th. And before I get into it, remember that I've got a competition running, so you just need to subscribe to my YouTube channel and my podcast. My podcast is now on my YouTube channel, so you can just do the one. Uh, and then send me an email to hardlyadequate at protonmail.com uh, with your YouTube handle or some evidence that you've a screenshot or something if you've subscribed to the podcast elsewhere. And you'll go in the running to win a ticket to a, a conference of your choice that's about up to 200 bucks in Australia. So we've got one more week before I draw that. So I'll be announcing the winner uh, on next week's episode. So if you haven't yet, because I've seen lots of people subscribe, but they haven't sent me their email. Um, if you're interested, please do that. And yeah, you'll go in the chance to, to win. So this week, oh, you might see now, but um, again, we've got some themes that we're going to go through. The first one is, well, the, the themes that I picked this week are stuff that's to do with social media and insider threat. So I've got four links for, to share with you just because they're kind of different within cyber, uh, but they're definitely interesting to look at. And so this is malware spread by YouTube videos. So it's talking about exploited YouTube accounts, luring techniques, uh, and some really interesting stuff here, particularly because like, I'm pretty sure all of us use YouTube at some point. So, uh, I mean, this kind of stuff, um, where it's like prompting you to go somewhere and download a cracked version is obvious. Um, but then also like if they're cracking some accounts, if they're using like a high profile account and it's really well crafted, then it could be a really good kind of phishing campaign. Uh, or, or drive by download campaign almost. Um, both of those are not quite right, but I, I can't think of the word that I'm looking for. But essentially they, they're using a notable account to try and get you to click on links um, or go and download something which can then possibly be malware and exploit your computer. Leading on to that is how Discord is abused for cybercrime. This is interesting, I guess. Um, Especially with some of, I guess it links to the insider threat. So I think it was last year, the, I think it was like US Air Force or US Navy. Uh, one of the employees there had taken, I think they were uniformed employee. They'd essentially taken interesting information or like sensitive information from their defense job and then was posting it in their Discord community. It was like specs for like a plane or, or a ship or something. Um, if I can go find the link, I'll post it in the show notes as well. But I know there's plenty of hacking communities on Discord and uh, because you can kind of control the size of your server and it feels more private. So, um, yeah, some interesting stuff here to have a read through. Leading into the next topic that I wanted to talk about then is inside a threat. So these are just events that are coming up that could be interesting to get your foot in the door to start looking at inside a threat. I think this will be a bigger trend that we'll see in 2024 and moving forward uh, is some more focus on inside a threat. So this one is from Cyber Triage. So let's see when this is on in, can I, plus 10, Brisbane, set time zone. Yeah, so not a great time, but I might sign up and see if they do a recording or I might get up to watch this one. Um, yeah, so this is one event, and then the next one is this one. So it's another webinar from um, MCSoft and on insider threats as well, protecting your organization. And if you wanted to do read more about this, you can look up, I think it's it's not the Ingenuity one. I always find it super hard to like, they don't appear on LinkedIn, on um, Google, so here it is. Oh, MITRE.org, okay. Yeah, so there's this link here. Miner has some research stuff uh, on insider threat. Uh, the other thing to look up while that's loading, their website is insanely slow as well. The other thing to look up is, uh, I think it's insider threat framework. I think Scissor has one. Defining insider threats. Yeah, the mitigation guides. And then can I'm going to spill this wrong. Carnegie Mellon. Yeah, they've also got one as well. Oh, this one, the uh, DNI.gov. Common sense, 
guide to mitigating mitigating inside of threats. That's also a good one as well. And it looks like this minor one. Yeah, so Miner's got some information here. They're actually doing research at the moment, just hasn't been released. Um, but there's some terminology here. So yeah, if you're interested in inside of threats, uh, there's some links there. And oh, let's quickly see if I can find that. Um, US secrets released on Discord. Uh, this could be it. Yeah. I mean, you could Google it and find it. I think there might be a couple now of uh, different in cases like this, maybe one or two. Um, but yeah, that's it for this week. I had the two kind of themes to share with you guys. They're kind of new, interesting areas um, and just stuff to be aware of. But really looking forward to making more content now. I've now finished up at Security Blue Team and we'll be focusing more on this kind of content and making some walkthroughs. I know I wanted to do the, the Google Sheets one that I mentioned the other week. Um, so yeah, keep an eye out. It'd be great doing this. It's always great sharing some of these things with you guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, share any way you can. Uh, it helps me build the channel. So I will catch you guys all next week. See ya.